guys, today we're going to be doing a hairstyle that we put on our Instagram account a while ago and we had a lot of requests for a tutorial. I will have our Instagram account linked below in case you haven't seen that. I'm going to start by making a part here over on the side and you're going to want it lower than you think it should go. You want most of the hair to go in the main braid in the middle. So I'm going to come about right here, just like two inches above her ear, and I'm going to go straight back. And then when you get to the very back of her head, now you're just going to go down, and I kind of do it on a curve. So that is what the first part line is going to look like, and I'm just going to place all of this extra hair into a ponytail holder on this other side to keep it out of my way. Before I do that, I am just going to spray some water to get all of these little flyaways out of that part. Now for the next step, you're going to be taking the hair between her ear and this part line and you're just going to draw a line straight in the middle of that. You'll just want to make sure that this part line is nice and straight and that it's level with this line up here. And then again, I'm just going to tie this hair out of the way. So as you can see, I just added the tail of that into this one over here so that it's completely out of my way. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a Dutch braid with the remaining hair that's hanging down. Before I do that, again, I'm going to spray some water just so that I can keep this braid nice and sleek. As you're making this braid here on the bottom, you just want to make sure that you bring it straight across and keep it level with this part line up here. This section of hair kind of goes down her hairline, but that's not the way I'm going to bring the braid. I'm going to keep it up. And I'm going to be making this pretty tiny. It's a lot smaller than most Dutch braids I would make. So I'm grabbing a small section here in the front and I'm going to split it into three. And I'm going to bring the outside sections underneath that middle strand. And then again, as I'm braiding this in, I'm just going to take very small sections on both the top and the bottom. So at this point I've added in all of the hair that was hanging down. I'm just going to go ahead and braid this back normally a little bit further and then tie it off. Now with this section I'm going to do the same thing and this braid should be a little bit easier because both of the part lines are going to be straight so you just go straight back. We've had a few questions about how to get these little cornrows to look good. And I think the tips I would give you are you need your part lines to be nice and straight and then you want these little individual sections to be about the same size and the same distance apart. And it basically just takes practice. I'm still working on mine. They're not absolutely perfect. So now we're going to go over to this other side and I'm going to do the exact same thing. The main thing you need to look at is that you want these part lines on the top to be on the same spot on her head on both sides. So you're just going to need to eye that. So you'll make your initial part and then again you'll make one in the middle and you'll make your two braids. I went ahead and braided this other side and one more thing I wanted to mention about these cornrows. You want to get them tight enough that they look good but not so tight that it's going to hurt and cause headaches. So I don't know if you can tell on camera but as you can see I can move these braids around. They're not super tight against her head. You just want to give them a little bit of room to breathe. And then with this remaining hair in the center, I'm just going to go ahead and make one big Dutch braid. And as I'm coming down, when I get to the point where I'm level with these braids here on the side, I'm just going to add them in to the braid as I'm going. Now that I've brought just a few pieces onto each side of that braid, I'm going to go back to the strands in the front and I'm going to pull them out a little bit just so that it's not so slick against her head. We want this more of like a faux hawk look and not a tight braid. And then for the rest of these side pieces, I'm going to be keeping them pretty tight and then I'm going to go back and stretch out just the edges of the braid itself. So as you can see, I've braided this down to the point where I'm pretty much level here with this braid on this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it in. And then same with this strand here. And then I'll add in these last two braids on the next strand down.
You may have noticed while I was braiding this that occasionally I would go back and stretch out the strands as I was going just to kind of get them started. Now that I've brought in all of the hair and I'm at the base of her neck, I'm going to go back and get it stretched out as far as I want, which is quite a bit. Now that I have this top part stretched out and looking how I want it to, I'm going to go ahead and just finish off this braid and stretch out these strands as well. So with this braid here in the center, don't worry if it looks a little bit messy. That's kind of the whole purpose of this style. You want this to be more messy and these are going to be sleek here on the side. So it's kind of a mixture of braids. 